Long Beach, California. Today we have a special episode. We have J.D. Parker with us, God's Minister of Rap. Welcome for coming to the show today, J.D. How you doing? I'm all right, I'm all, all right. right. You know, all right. some of our viewing audience may have seen you before on the show a couple times. Right. Uh, rapping the, uh, some of the songs that on that on your gospel project. Right. And uh, But when we talked the other day, and I said, J.D., I want you to come on down to the show, and this time we're just going to rap. Mm -hmm. We just we gonna talk and and we gonna find out more about who you the person is and and what your relationship is with God and, and your your plight into the ministry as a cat from the street that then traveled around hit a couple corners hit a couple switches <laughs> did a couple things right. now you rapping for God right. so um, it's an honor for me to have you here again once again and uh, I just want the Long Beach audience to to see you more. Because as long as God has us on this platform, we're going to use it. And we're going to use it to glorify His kingdom. We're going to use it to glorify His people that have other gifts and other talents in the ministry. So, uh, Long Beach, California. Once again, this is J.D. Parker. He is God's Minister of Rap. And we're just going to have an open <laughs> conversation. Kind of like when you're watching Oprah. You know, you, mm -hmm. I, I be checking Oprah out. Yeah, you know, when Oprah yeah. come on, sometimes she's in the screen. Then sometimes she kick back. Yeah. And she, she holler at somebody and let them holler back. And then she kind of kick back, let them holler. So, J.D., holla. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all doing, Long Beach? Uh, my name is J.D. Parker. Y'all probably seen me on the show before. Um, I come through and minister and through rap. I let God use me to reach the streets because that's where my heart is at. My heart is in the streets for the people that's out there that's lost that might not know Christ or might have known them at one point and fell back into uh, the old patterns of life that they, that they left. Um, I, I, I can relate to him. I've been there. I've done, done all that, and God has—he's uh, captured my heart, and and he—he's—he's he's placed me back into a, a, an environment that's a loving environment that's just—it's overwhelming for me. I can't even explain it. Let me, let me if, uh, ask you a question. You said God captured your heart. Yeah, He captured my now, heart. Now, how? Now, somebody out there watching this, mm -hmm. how did God capture your heart? First of all, what was you doing for God to cap? What was you doing right before you, you felt that something was pulling on you? What, what was you doing in your life at that moment when you just got sick and tired of being sick and tired? What, what were you actually into in that season before you realized that something greater than you was pulling on you? Um, I was into a, a lot of... Uh uh, illegal activity. I'll keep it real. Just I mean, I was, in, I was I was in a lot of legal like, activity. Like I mean, uh, when I was younger, uh, like I said, probably about uh, 15 all the way up until I went to prison. I went to prison at 18. Oh, you went to prison? At 18 years old. Okay. There's uh, a lot of cats in Long Beach right now in and out of prison and uh, with the influence of Snoop Dogg and a lot of things that's happening with the with the gang. This is known as a gangster rap city and a gangster city full of the insane crib gang and the rolling twenty gangster crips. Right, is in Long Beach, California. Plus, you got the Cambodian gangsters in Long Beach. Mm -hmm. You know, you got the Asian gangsters in Long Beach. You got the West Side Samoan gangsters mm -hmm. in Long Beach. So we get a lot of of participation from the community that actually tunes into us. Right. So. They know about prison, right? And they know about dope and drugs. They right. know about women and PCHs. Was considered whole straw, right? You know, in in Long Beach, California, PCH go all the way from from Orange County to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Right. So 
So you can drop it like it's hot. Yeah, I'm going to drop it like it's hot. We got to reach somebody that ain't going to the church on Sunday. Exactly. They're not listening to the preacher. Exactly. You feel me? Exactly. Because there's a lot of preachers in Long Beach that that look at cats like me and you and they ain't got time for us. Right. You feel me? Right. So right now, God got us on the platform to reach somebody who might not want to go to church. Might not want to listen to that song that grandmama playing on Sunday. You feel me? Right. But they check some cats out, listen to a Dr. Dre track, and sitting up in there talking about God. Exactly. So, so, so see, you, and that's where I was at. Okay. See, I didn't, I didn't want to listen to all that. You don't want to listen. I, to I didn't want to listen to the preacher and and okay. what he was because it was boring to me. It, it was, was just boring. they didn't believe what they were saying. I didn't believe what they, they were didn't saying. They didn't believe what they were saying. You can tell. How did you? Come know? on, man. I mean, you sit up here and, and you got 15 offerings. You got talking about locking the doze and to let's raise his money man I, I didn't want to be a part of that man <laughs> folks in the church fighting I done seen all kind of stuff man but that, I would I didn't want to be a part of okay. that if I was gonna be a part of some corruption let me be a part of something that's in the street that's real okay. you see what I'm saying what I thought was real okay when I eventually found like I said when I said God captured my heart okay after uh I had came to know who Christ was, and God started blessing me. I mean, he, he blessed me tremendously. He took me to a say point. Say that slow and, and say that again. Yeah. Say, no, because people, yeah, that, I mean, somebody, now you've been in prison. Right. Now, this captain been in prison, y'all, and he said that he was into a lot of stuff, and God captured him, and then when God captured him, he started getting blessed. Now, you come on now, tell what, what happened. Like I said, I was I was uh, robbing uh, dope men. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, they would put in all the work, and we would rob the dope men. Right. Okay. And so, uh, after I left all that lifestyle alone for a period of time, God started blessing me with these jobs, making twenty some dollars an hour. I mean, you got to realize I'm in my early twenties. Okay. You know, and this is back in uh, the early nineties. You know, it ain't uh, too long ago. It, no, it ain't too long ago. No, 18, but a young 18, cat like me, making twenty dollars an hour, with no kids, you right. know, making that type of money, you know, and and I mean, that's like God was really blessing me. Okay. So I'm riding down the street in my Regal. And I'm passing this liquor store. In the Regal? Yeah. Where you from? I'm from, uh, originally from Alabama, but I came from Indiana. You came from, was that, that where the Jackson 5 from? Yeah.